Uh, the last has not been heard about the controversy over the recruitment of 10,000 constables into the police force. The Inspector General of Police, Kyle De Betoku, insists it must be carried along, just as the Police Service Workers Union is calling for a sack. Sifonisian has details. The Inspector General of Police, Kayo Di Egbetoku, meets with senior officers of the force to take a look at the state of the country's security. Nigeria has grappled with various security challenges for years, including terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, secessionist agitation, cyber crimes, and other criminalities. To address this, we conceived a special police intervention unit, the Special Intervention Squad, SIS, consisting of specially trained officers focused solely on rapid and proactive crisis intervention. The meeting comes amid a dispute between the police chief and the police service commission over the ongoing recruitment of 10,000 constables into the police force. Despite the deputy inspector general of police in charge of training and development being the secretary of the recruitment board, the IGP says the leadership of the police was sidelined. If the IGP insists that all the police management wants is to be carried along in the recruitment process. We are doing everything possible to make sure that qualified and trainable individuals are recruited into the police. The problems we are having with the police now starts with the recruitment. If we don't pay attention to recruitment, a disaster is awaiting us. Prior to the meeting, the Police Service Commission Workers Union called for the sack of Inspector General of Police. I won't respond to a call for my removal. Anybody can call for my removal. Anybody who doesn't like me can come out tomorrow and say, remove the IG. It's uncertain when the issues will be resolved. But while the rift persists, the fate of the 10,000 intake for the police may just hang in the balance. C4 ACN. TVC News, Abuja. And the Arawa Youth Consultative Forum has expressed concern over what he described as attempts to tamper with the freedom of suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiari. The AYCF condemned actions, but it says undermines the concept of bail, which plays a crucial role in upholding justice and fairness in the legal system. In a statement, President General of the AYCF, Yerima Shatima, underscored the significance of bail as a fundamental right that allows individuals accused of crimes to maintain the liberty while awaiting trial. Yerima Shatima emphasized that in light of recent events regarding the bail of Abakiyar, it's crucial to emphasize that tampering with an accused bail should be considered or should only be considered in exceptional circumstances. He adds that Mr. Kieri was granted bail within the bounds of the law and there was no evidence of him violating terms of his release or obstructing the course of justice. Tonight we're back in River State where the Court of Appeal in Abuja has reserved judgment in the appeal filed by Speaker of the River State House of Assembly Martin Amawale and 24 others against Speaker Victor Okojumbo and two others. The appellate call adjourned uh, for judgment after the parties in uh, the suit adopted all their processes. Mr. Amawale and others in the appeal are asking the court to stay the execution of a high court judgment which saw them out of office and further proceedings in the suit and whatever decisions Mr. Jumbo has taken while in office should be set aside. Governor Fubara earlier inaugurated 23-man caretaker committee for the local government council, uh, despite agitation from Amewale led lawmakers who are insisting they have a six month tenor allegation. And the Court of Appeal uh, that both parties saying both parties should cease hostility. Recall that the federal government recently dragged 36 state governors to the Supreme Court on local government autonomy, an attempt by governors to interfere in financial activities of the councils. The federal government also is praying the Supreme Court for an order stopping governors from further constituting caretaker committees to run the affairs of local governments as against the constitutionally recognized and guaranteed democratic system.